okay by request. Um, Phoebe's cover of Teenage Dirtbag by Weedus. <laughs> um, uh, I, by the way, started a Patreon page. I don't really know how it is supposed to work, so I'll hopefully figure that out. Um, one thing I'm thinking about doing is making that where I put, make available like my notes and little chord charts that I make for these things. Um, uh, and I continue to enjoy getting requests here and there. I don't know if I necessarily want to like promise that I could do any request, you know, um, but uh, maybe I'll figure it out. Let me know if you have any um, ideas or comments. Um, okay, so uh, standard tuning with a capo at the fifth fret. Um, the first chord is this C. It's a C, but with um, your pinky on the third fret of the high E. So, you know, first finger on the first fret of the B, second finger on the second fret of the D, third finger on the third fret of the A, and pinky on the third fret of the high E. And then a little trick in the song is that pretty much every time that she plays the C, she always hammers on the second finger note on the D string. Um, you don't have to do that, it's fine without it. Um, but that's part of the part of the sound. So it's like that first down strum starts with an open D and then the second finger pretty much immediately comes down. And the second chord is this F that probably a lot of people were already mad about um, because it's the thumb, the thumb F again. Um, so uh, now the good news is uh, if you've made it, if you if you don't want to use your thumb or can't use your thumb, and you've made it this far into the video, you can totally just play it like this. Um, so uh, without the thumb, because it's just this, and then you add your thumb. Um, first finger on the first fret of the B, third finger on the third fret of the D, and pinky on the third fret of the high E, and then the thumb comes in on the first fret of the low E, um, but like I said, like you don't need it. The A string isn't really in there, so maybe it's being muted a little bit with the thumb or just being skipped. Sometimes it sounds like she does this kind of thing where it's like, like plucking the low E string individually and then strumming those high, so it'll be like... Um, um, another thing that happens in the intro, but not so much other times on the F, is that the, th the second finger hammers on to the second fret of the uh, G string. In the intro, it's kind of like... So it, you know, it hammers on and it goes back down. It's kind of a down, down, hammer on, up, down, up, down, up, down. I mean, you can, you can mess with it. Um, uh, the strumming pattern in general, it's one of these songs where it's like a slow song with kind of fast strumming, right? So it's like the, the beat's going like this, and your general strum is like that. And I think a good kind of general strumming thing to get into is sort of like down, up, 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 down. That'll kind of serve you well for the, you know, but you can mess around with it as usual with strumming, you know, find your own thing. Okay, so um, the intro is just C to F twice. is going to come back later and just be once, but okay, the verse, C to G, this is like a G sus4, so you keep your first finger on the first fret of the B, you put, you keep your um, pinky on the third fret of the high E, your third finger, your second finger just picks up and your third finger moves from the third fret on the A to the third fret on the low E. And notice rhythmically that this chord happens on an upbeat, it's like one and two Back 
to C, then I'm gonna F, which also happens on that beat. So that repeats, that happens twice. Now, there's an A minor now next. So, so after it does C, G, C, F twice, then it does C, G, then an A minor seven. So your first finger and your pinky are still hanging out where they were. First finger on the first fret of the B, pinky on the third fret of the high E. And now it's second finger on the second fret of the D, and you have open A and a low E string. A minor to F. And same thing, the F is on the upbeat. So one and two and three and four. Right? Um, that's the verse, I would call it, because then it's like the pre chorus kind of thing. Okay, so that's A minor, F on the upbeat to G. And the G is for a full bar. And that just repeats twice A minor, F. To G, A minor, F to G, it's like, that's the pre-chorus. Um, the chorus, now the, 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 the rhythm changes a little bit because now you, you, there aren't those little anticipations on the upbeats anymore, it's just like C, G, F, so it's going to do that three times. C, After the three times, um, it's just a, a bar on C and then two bars on the G. Um, that's how the first and second choruses are. There's a little twist in the last chorus, the one where it's like the, the when Noel is uh, singing back. Um, there it goes to A minor instead of C after the three times. So like. Now there's the section that I'm calling the bridge, but it's also kind of like an extension of the chorus, or maybe it's really the chorus. Um, the <laughs> oh yeah, it's a lot like the intro, um, but now it's going to go C for one and a half beats, because then it goes to F one, two, and three. Now a whole other bar on this F, and then C to F, and now. So it's like, um, it's kind of like C, F, F, C, F, F, G. C, F. Oh, yeah. Now you're just on F. Dirtbag. C, F. No, shit. And then G. Make sense? Um, that section happens twice. It happens um, after the second chorus. Um, and then after that time, after that second chorus, it goes to um, uh, back to the intro thing, but just once instead of twice like it was in the beginning. And then it happens at the very end and that's how the song ends. So it's like... to be more professional, I'm going to do like kind of a slow version of all the sections. Intro.
pre-chorus. Okay, um, thank you so much uh, for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, and uh, I'll see you later.